point of tension between you and anybody promoting any kind of sexual immorality, it doesn't matter if it's L, G, B, fornication, whatever it is, the point of tension between you and them is two different sexual ethics. So you have a biblical worldview and you have a sexual ethic that defines both the necessary and sufficient conditions for sex to occur. The necessary condition is you need to be married to the person and the sufficient conditions are the act of both one, it has to be appropriate timing, has to be honouring to God, covers all of those as well. I bet you if you ask them, they wouldn't know what their sexual ethic is. They might say something like it's consent and they might stop there, at which point you can show that their ethic is bankrupt. Okay, because if you just say consent, well, that allows all sorts of stuff. You happy with paedophilia? Because that can happen between consenting child and consenting adult. No, I'm not happy with that. You happy with adultery? No. So you can bring out that they have a sexual ethic and that it is morally bankrupt as part of that conversation. And you have a clear sexual ethic and it comes from the Bible.